Good evening viewers, welcome again to my channel, Second Math Hub, the solution to your math problems. This is WASC 2025 for private candidates. Compulsory question 2. The sum of the squares of two consecutive odd positive integers is 74. Find the numbers. So first of all, let's represent the numbers. So let the numbers B. So let's say the first positive odd number is k. So what will be the second consecutive positive odd number? So that will be k plus 2. Why is it so? So let's look at odd numbers. Let's say 1 and then 3. So if the first one is a, what do we do to the first number to get to the second number? We see that there is a difference of two. So when I add two to the first one, that will give me the second consecutive odd number. So again, if the first one is represented as k, algebraically, the second consecutive odd number should be k plus two. That is the reason why we added two to the k to get to the second thing. Now again, we're told that the sum of the squares so let's look at their squares. So let's write an expression for their squares. So the first positive or number, we are going to square it. And then the second consecutive or number two, we are going to square it. Now we are told that the sum of their squares is equal to 74. So k squared plus k plus 2 all squared must be equal to 74. So let's expand the second term. So we have k squared plus now k plus 2 all squared is the same as k plus 2 multiplying itself. So when we expand this, you end up getting k, k squared plus 4k plus 4. And this must be equal to 74. You see that we are getting something like quadratic. So let's equate everything to 0. So we have k squared plus k squared plus 4k plus 4 minus 74 is equal to 0. So we can still simplify. See that there are some like things. K squared plus K squared. We have 2K squared plus 4K and then 4 minus 74. That is minus 70. And this must be both 0. I think we can still reduce uh, the terms by dividing each term by 2. So let me repeat this. So when you divide each term by 2, we end up getting k squared plus 2k minus 35 is equal to 0. So now, we have our quadratic equation. So the coefficient of k squared is 1 and the constant here is minus 35. So 1 multiplied by minus 35, that is minus 35. We are looking for factors of minus 35 such that when we add them to give us positive 2. So what are the factors? So the factors will be negative 5, positive 7. Because minus 5, multiplying positive, so that is negative 35. And again, minus 5 plus 7, positive 2. So these are the factors. We can get a space here. So now, we are breaking them into factors. So k squared, so instead of 2k, 
replace that with minus 5k plus 7k minus 35 is equal to 0. So let me repeat this. So we can group them first two and then the last two. So for the first bracket, what is the common factor? Common factor is k. So let's factorize k out, leaving k minus 5. Also for the second bracket, what is the common factor? Common factor is 7, leaving k minus 5. So everything is equal to 0. So we have k minus 5, k minus 5. So we we'll write one of them. And for the outside factors, we have k plus 7. All must be equal to 0. So now I'm going to pick each factor equal to 0 and solve for k. So the first factor, k minus 5 is equal to 0. So k is equal to 5. Second factor, k plus 7 is equal to 0. So k is equal to negative 7. So we have k1 as positive 5. And then this is the second value of k that is minus 7. But the question was specific. We are looking at um, two consecutive or positive integers. Positive. So meaning that k is equal to 5. So with this, can we get the actual numbers for the two consecutive or positive integers. So the first one is k. So the first one, so let me write this. The numbers, uh -huh. so the first one is k. So the first one will be five. And the second one will be k plus two, that is five plus two, which is seven. So five and seven. So these are the two consecutive odd positive integers. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, and share the video.